This morning I'm here on a really foggy morning at the uh, Montour Trail. There's the Greer Tunnel, which was recently redone. And I thought I'd try out the uh, Omni to uh, image it in 3D by taking lots of photos and using photogrammetry. So it's about the worst possible way you could imagine to do this, but I happen to be in Pittsburgh, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's uh, really, really foggy and dark and uh, kind of rainy and drizzly and uh, just super, super moist out. So I'm worried that I might have dripped water onto the lenses or perhaps that it's just too dark in the tunnel. But anyway, uh, that's what I was doing this morning and uh, we'll see how it comes out. This virtual fly-through shows the 3D model that was created from all those photos. There are about 64 million triangles that make up this model in terms of geometry and the image texture is a 16K by 16K single texture. You can see that the model looks pretty good, although the steel walls were a problem because there's a lot of reflections on them. Here we're about halfway through the tunnel and you can see that this part has not been refurbished yet. Like most tunnels, there are a lot of graffiti markings on the walls. Overall, this looks like something that could have maybe been done with a, an FPV drone, um, but it really wouldn't have worked out well for someone to fly a drone through the fog and in the dark tunnel. I don't think the images would have come out nearly this good. Here we'll do a little fun trick and fly through this uh, fence. We're going to go back into the tunnel here, um, but do a neat little trick. So we're only imaging inside the tunnel, but here, look, we are inside the ground outside of the tunnel. We're just visualizing the tunnel that would be seen from the inside. So um, we're not really seeing the outside, of course, of the tunnel because it's all rock and dirt. The 360 camera doesn't do very well with the trees from the outside. Um, it mixes it up with the sky a lot and it was so gray and foggy out that it didn't resolve the trees very well and so we get a lot of white there. Here we'll fly sort of underneath and you can see the curve of the tunnel itself. And here we'll go back up to sort of a level view. I believe they're going to finish the tunnel sometime in 2024 and put steel through the rest of the tunnel. Here's a split view. So this shows both sides of the tunnel as if you were looking um, at a wall and walking the length of the tunnel or looking at the other wall. So the bottom image is rotated around 180 degrees so we can see the tunnel from both sides at the same point. Here's a top-down view. I've cut away everything that's sort of as high as the top of the tunnel the top of the walls of the vertical part of the walls of the tunnel and you can see where the cameras were placed so I walked down basically one side of the tunnel placing the camera about every maybe three feet or so and then got to the other end of the tunnel and walked back near the other wall and took pictures about every three feet apart. The GoPro Omni I haven't really seen anyone do photogrammetry with it. Um, it takes six photos with each, each camera placement. You can see here the sort of cubes where the cameras uh, were placed at the sort of the center of each of these cubes and six images are taken with each press of the shutter. To image this I used a remote control and I had the Omni up on a light pole and um, 
So all the images were taken at about the same height. Here we're about halfway through and we're entering that part that was bolstered with the, with the steel reinforcements. The software did a pretty good job at placing the uh, camera, determining the camera positions for all of those 385 different places where the photos were taken from. You can see here there's a lot more photos around these walls that I took uh, in the front of the tunnel itself. Anyway, the model came out pretty well, especially given the poor conditions during imaging. It is just super foggy out here this morning. Uh, I've seen a few people out on the trail biking and uh, uh, jogging, etc. But overall, uh, it's not too busy today. Uh, here we are at the rear tunnel. It's a neat place that was recently redone on the inside on at least about half of it using some steel paneling that was put on to, uh, I think, just add support to the overall tunnel itself. So you can see here as I'm backing up towards the tunnel, the uh, steel paneling is all over the place. So in addition to all the other challenges this morning and trying to do some photogrammetry of this tunnel, uh, we've also got the fact that the walls are all reflective steel and have some moisture on them. So I'm sure we'll get a lot of specular reflections. It'll be a challenge as well. Anyway, that's it for now.